Hey, how's everyone doing? Today, uh, I'm going to do a quick paint on uh, an 1871 Prussian infantryman from the Franco Prussian War. This is a Perry miniature. Got a base, which I use a penny, so they can be individually based. And I got a primed, which is just a white primer. So I'm going to use contrast paints to do a quick paint on them to show you how how fast you can paint up a unit. Uh, I usually paint batches of six or eight. So once you do one, once you get all the other figures done, then uh, by the time you get to the last one, you come back to the first one, it's dry and you can do the second layer. So, but, so we're just, I'm just going to use contrast paints. There's a couple other non-contrast paints that we use for metallics. And, but everything else is going to be contrast paints. So the first color we're going to start with is Levi Leviathan uh, Blue, which is a dark blue, which is really good for brushing. So. so what we're going to do is go, go grab a paint his tunic. His upper body part. You gotta be careful around the cuffs because the cuffs are going to be red. So. Look at that done. Be a little careful around this cuff. And if you paint those over, you can go back with some white paint, paint it up, then you can go back over the red again. So, if you accidentally go across it, you're good. All right. Should we get the whole tunic? Yep. Okay, the tunic's done. Now while that's drying, I'm going to go do the gun. I'm using a Gore Grunt of Fur for the rifle stock. You get the rifle stock. Now I would. I mean, as I'm doing six, these will be dry, so I'll, I'll turn, the, let's turn the heater on. This will help dry it, speed up the drying. All right, so now I'm going to do the flesh. Oh, oh yeah, a little, a little more drying. There we go. So now I have to uh, do the 
the breech, the barrel, and the bayonet. And we'll do that in silver. And we'll use AK's silver, which I, re I really like the AK metallics. They really have a good coverage. So, there's only a couple things which are metallic on this. This is the, this is the some of the good furniture and his best kit back there. But I'm gonna paint that later. I just need to paint this so I can um, do the flesh. All right, I guess we have to paint. Dry a little bit on that. Alright. Now we'll do the flesh, which is going to be Gilliman flesh. There you go. I'll paint that. I saw a little blue. I need that. I think I missed a section of the cuffs on the blue. There you go. Uh, so. Try a little bit. All right, now for the red, which I'm, I'm just using Blood Angels, a beautiful red. So he has red in two locations red, uh, red on his neck here. Collar. They had the cuffs. Oop. Blue did hold. So, fix with the base. Alright. Now we're going to do, do the blanket right here, which is going to be a silicon gray. Because it was a gray blanket. That's the great blanket. The next color, we we'll use black. It's gonna be Black Legion.
So we got, we got his helmet. We got his mask kit. Oh, 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 I, I did forget something. Forgot the bread bag. Agro's Dunes. Let's be it for his bread bag. Located right there. Right. Paint that because I need to paint the canteen. Like that. I got to dry that a little. Back to the black. So it's going to be his belt. Bayonet, ammo pouches, come on the back here. We got his canteen. Now we got his pants and boots. Get, we get these finished. One more piece of which is his gunsling because that's black too. So let me paint that. So I got this painted right here. So this. Get this all finished up. So it looks like great now. We just now we have to do the gold, the brass fittings on him, and a couple other little details. Then he'll be he'll be uh, he'll be finished. So now. I'm going to use AK Gold, metallic, for all the, all the yellow metal on them. Start at the top. Get the chin scale.
I get the bands on the on the gun. Then we got the bayonets. And this belt buckle. Alright. Now we got some S10, which is just going to be the silver again. Now I need the white, which is going to be AK off white. Uh, all I need is two areas. Get me here for the canteen strip. The first lapel epaulette. And use his mouth of bold red for the for his red stripe down down his pant leg. Oh, it's got a couple little touch ups. <sighs> there we go. Well, there we go. We got a Prussian interview all completed. And with the contrast colors, it gives you the highlights and everything. So, so hold on. You could finish off if you want to do like a one final dry brush and a, a white or a light gray on top just to pick out the accents and stuff like that. But if not, that's all it is. Like I said, if you're doing these batches of eight, it, you can have these guys whipped out in no time because there's nothing really fancy on the Prussians unless you go with like a guard or a grenadier unit. Then they, then they got like a white stripe on their lapels there, not on their sleeves and stuff. Oh, I did forget one more red spot. Right here, down the front of his tunic. Has, a, has some red, edged red on his on his on his stick, but there you go. But yeah, no time flat. You can have these things just whipped right out. Now, if you get, if you get tired of painting the blue, the blue and stuff, you can also go with this. This is a Prussian Jaeger. Basically, it's the same equipment, everything except a different different hat. And his tunic is a green. So for this green, I went with uh, warp lightning for the base for the green. And once that was dry, I went over it with uh, to me a panel liner on the jacket to really darken it, darken it up, and bring out all the creases and stuff in it. But oh yeah, and for the beard, it's a snake bite leather. For the you can use any browns, blacks, or grays for the beards you want. But, yep. 
as you said, I do I do a bad batches of eight, six to eight. And this is gonna be for a skirmish level game, so eight guys represents a squad, and so pay eight guys, the squad's done. So there you go. Nice and simple, quick and fast. And anybody can do this too. Anybody can do this. No, there's nothing really, nothing fancy on it. Nothing like that. Just put the paint on and just like and go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and um, let's get keep getting those miniatures out there. Also hit the like button. It really it really it really helps out. It really does. So until later, guys. Have a good night.